Right, in the last video we learned that if we have the sine rule, which is A over sine A equals B over sine B, and I don't worry about the equals C over sine C, and we talked about that last time, I can find out a missing side. But this isn't going to be the case now, because look, I've got the two sides, I've got the side that are a pair, I've got my 12 and I've got my 32 degrees and they are a pair because they're opposite each other and I've got my other side which is 5 and that is opposite my angle that I'm looking for over here so I have got the information I need the challenge is how can we work that into the formula so I could write that out as uh, 12 over sine 32 equals 5 over sine x. But I don't like that, because the bit I'm trying to find is on the bottom. So, why don't I turn the whole thing upside down? And if I do that, mathematically I'm allowed to do that, as long as I do that for every part. So, if I suddenly now have sine of 32 and I'm dividing that by 12 and that equals sine of x and I'm dividing that by 5 then I can rearrange the 5 I can take the 5 and I can get rid of it off this left or oh, this right hand side so I'm going to end up with 5 lots of sine 32 divided by 12 equals sine of x. Now that's great, I'm going to work that out. So that's 5 times sine 32 divided by 12. That gives me a decimal. So that gives me that 0 0.22 08 equals sine x. So if I'm undoing a sine, if I'm getting rid of a sine, that is the same as function sine minus 1, 0 0.2208, which equals x, which is 12.8 degrees. Now, one thing I didn't mention in the last video, and I really should have, it was very remiss of me, is of course, because I'm using the function sine, I have to make sure the angle of sine is in the right mode. So my mode for this one, well the angles were in degrees, so the mode is in degrees. If my angle was in radians, I'd need to make it into radians. Now one challenge that students have always found since we started doing these sort of standards is if you have a graphics calculator and you have had it reset as you go into an exam, the calculator will always be reset onto radians, and therefore, if you're doing this, you need to make sure you convert it back to degrees. And it's your responsibility to make sure you know how your calculator works. Okay, it's very straightforward, it's just a menu setup, but you must be able to do it. Cool, okay, so that's the sine rule. I'll start doing the cosine rule next, and then we'll work out areas and sectors and segments.